Marina, it's me, Marina Fiona. Proceed po kung paano po tayo mag-set ng appointment sa PSA. Punta tayo sa Chrome. Type natin PSA appointment. Then, ito po. HTTPS appointment.psa.gov.ph Click po natin. Ito na po siya. Click natin siya, Civil Registration Service Appointment System. <laughs> Ito po, may mga step po siya. Yung step 1 po, choose the PSA CRS outlet where you would like to set an appointment. Then, step 2, provide your name, email address, and mobile number. The PSA will send a copy of your appointment sheet by email. You will receive a verification code on the email address. Step 3, Select the type of PSA certificate that you would like to request. If you are requesting for someone else, please indicate their names and your relationship to the certificate owner. Step 4. Choose the date and time when you plan to visit your chosen PSA outlet. Step 5. Take note of the important details of the appointment. Double check that your name, email address, and mobile number on the screen are all accurate. It is important your name matches your ID exactly. Use your complete full name, no initials. Step 6. You will receive a copy of your appointment slip by email. Please save the PDF file on your phone or print it out. You will need to print the entire form including the QR code. Ito po. Step 7. Go to your chosen PSA outlet on the date of your appointment. Be at the outlet's premises on time or a few minutes earlier. Bring your own pen and make sure you are protected by a face mask. Ayan. Privacy notice. Rights of data subject. Basahin po natin. Personal information that are correct. Co collected. Collection method, timing of collection, yan po, baba na po na scroll, scroll, agree natin. Pag okay na po, important reminders siya, minors are not allowed to book an appointment. If the requesting party is a duly authorized representative, the original copy of authorization letter and valid ID must be presented. Provide correct details for applicant or authorized representative. 3. Disappointment Scheduling System Allocates slots on the first-come, first-served basis. Next. Choose po tayo kung saan tayo. Are, sa Region 3 or NCR po tayo. Choose Outlet. Kung saan po tayo malapit. Kalaokan. Then, pag okay na po. Next. Ito na po yung pipilapan natin. First name. Lagay po natin. Kim. Middle name. Sagun. Last name. Nabaro. Example ko lang po to. Email. Nabaro. Mobile number is optional. Kaya po kung lalagay nyo hindi. Then, agree. Next. Magsisend po ng OTP. Yung PSA, sa email natin, yan, nag-send na po siya. Ito na po. 364. 36. Hmm, wait lang. 364796. Type natin. 364. 
0.796 then verify okay na siya certificate type lagay natin live birth kung married marriage po natin kukunin relationship kunwari ako po self yan po yung ano ko then next ito po yung mga available na date April 11 full so 8 ang mga full try natin May yan sa May 2 7am may slot sila ng 26 yan okay na yan next natin so ito na po yung appointment details natin first name middle name last name outlet Kalaokan yan po yung address ng outlet address date sa May 2 time 7am number in, kung ilang copy po siya isa birth certificate email Then, confirm. Yan. Confirm na po. You have successfully booked an appointment in Caloocan on Monday, May 2, 2002. Next. Hain na po siya. Nakabook na po tayo. Important reminders: Be at the PSA CRS outlet at least 30 minutes before your appointment schedule. Bring valid IDs or document owner and authorized representative that match to the names encoded. Basic fees: once authentication and annotation of birth, marriage, and death. Ito po. Certificates po natin is 155 pesos per copy. Pag 2 copies, so 310. Pag Senomar naman po, 210 per copy. Then, number 4, authorized representative is not allowed to delegate to another authority to request for civil registered documents number five an authorized representative is only allowed to request for two unrelated individuals and number six minors are not allowed to book an appointment seven booking an appointment is free of charge and crs appointment slip is non-transferable eight for concerns and inquiries transact with authorized psa personnel only Procedure po ng application natin, present the CRS appointment slip, printed or digital copy to the information marshal for validation purposes. Ito po yung kanina, ito. Appointment slip, yan. Then, pa, number two, pass through the health and safety protocols and present the COVID-19 contact tracing application or the accomplished health survey form. Dito po makikita. Ito. Download and fill out health declaration. Yan. I-download po natin siya. Drive. Ito po siya. I-download po natin. Sabi, um, answer and po natin din siya then kasama po to sa requirements back natin then number 3 get application form and QA ticket number kapo po tayo dun kung saan po sa guard tanong tayo kung saan po kukuha nito 
Then number four, present or submit the funding fees. QTN, accomplish AF valid ID authorization letter, special power of attorney, and all supporting documents to the transaction window for screening and payment. So, kailangan na natin submit yung payment natin, which is 155 per copy. Then, yung mga valid ID natin, government, uh, then authorization letter, kung may kukunan po kayo. Then, number, check po, nat check po natin yung official receipt. Tsaka, bilangin po natin yung, yung sukli natin may igay. Number 6, proceed to the releasing area on the scheduled date and time of release. Number 7, present and submit the OR, valid IDs, authorization letter, or SPA, and all supporting documents, leasing officer. Number 8, check the correctness and completeness of the received document. Note po, do not forget to bring an ID that is matched to the name you have encoded. Be reminded that this appointment is non-transferable. Ayan. Pwede po natin i-download yung birth certificate natin. Marriage, death, sinomar, dito. Gusto nyo po mag magkumuha ng form. Then, ito po yung PSA hotline. PSA helpline.ph kung magpapadeliver po kayo. Nationwide, door to door. Hain na po. Thank you.